Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show. And we are here for your Plymouth Argyle, the Green Army, versus Leicester City, top of the table, Leicester City. Post-match reaction with everyone's favourite fox. It is, of course, Locks. How you feel it? Did you like that? Everyone's favourite fox. It is, of course, Locks. Forget Gary Lineker. Move over... Um, I don't know, Danny Drinkwater, uh, move over uh, Steve Guppy, Neil Emil Lennon, Heskey. Emil Heskey. Move on over because there's a man in town and it's everyone's favourite fox, it's Locks. Locks, you just got beat by Plymouth Argyle. That's two losses in the spin to Millwall and Plymouth. You told us at half time it would happen. How are you feeling, brother? Just the uh, same as, as usual, mate. Yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? We're shit. The manager's awful. The players don't care, clearly. Um, you know, and there's still some fans out there like, oh, but you know, we're still top. Yeah, whatever, mate. Come on, be be real, be real. You know what I mean? You can't beat Millwall, you can't beat uh, Plymouth. You know, you ain't got no hope, mate. I'm sorry. And yeah, people will say, well, it's a championship. Anyone beats anyone. Yeah, but you know, look at the form table now over the last ten games. We've won two. Wow, big whoops. You know, who cares? Um, who cares if you win two on the bounce and then you go and lose two on the bounce to Millwall and Plymouth? Um, bottle jobs. All of them, mate. I hate this team. I hate this team. I hate the manager. Um, Plymouth not won at home in seven games, mate. Seven games. Yep. That's that's. Uh, that was weird. the first goal at home in six, and it was really? their first shot. It was their first goal in the last fifty-five shots or something like that. Yeah. 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 Not great. Not great. Um, mate, can we talk about um? Pats and Daka. Do you want to do you want to talk to me about Pats Patson? I feel like Pats and I feel like Pats and Daka is is what Paddy Bamford is to 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 um, some Leeds fans. You know, he's had a couple of chances um, and and, uh, and and fumbled the bag if you like, and he's missed a sitter on his left hand side. Really, he's in uh, he's in so much space. And talk to me about Patson, mate. Do you remember Adi Akinbayi? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think every, every team, every fan base have that player where they look back on history and they and they like they use that player as an insult. You know what I mean? Like so, for yeah, Leicester, yeah. for as long as I've you know for as long as I've watched Leicester, known Leicester, whatever, everyone's always said, you know, our, our worst ever player was Adi Akinbayi. I can assure you, our worst player was Pat Sindaka. Our worst player, Pat Sindaka, is the worst professional striker I have ever seen in my life. I would rather. I, th I, you know, the stick that Roy Keane got the other week for set calling Erling Haaland League the Two League standard. Two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think Pats and Daka would struggle in League Two, mate. He is that bad. Did you see the chance? You saw the chance, both of them. The yeah, first one, fair enough. It's getting zipped across goal. You should still get it on target. You have to. You have to get that on target. The second one, he had loads of time. And yeah, it's his left foot. But come on, man. Come on. The, the first goal. That was that was ruled off the foot, you know, it, the offside. Yeah, yeah, mate. I could score goals if I was sat in offside, mate. Like it's it's not it's not too difficult. So I just it just winds me up, mate. He he is shocking. And after the Millwall game, people came for him because he missed a. Did, did you see the header, the clip of him against yes, Millwall? I where I he, mean, it was a bad header, bro. It was a bad header. Yeah. Um. When that happened, I I did defend him. I said, "You can't come for Dakar, who's played five minutes of football." You know the, the 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 rest of the players had ninety minutes before him and didn't score, but no, tonight yeah, yeah, tonight way. Daka was trusted again wrongly by the way trusted by Enzo, and again he's proven and he'll start against West Brom and it, he will he'll start against West Brom because he always starts, yeah. um, you know and yeah that's it on Daka mate he is I would I would take a Fredo for him right now mate honestly <laughs> I just want to get rid of him I don't want to see I like it. Uh, like it's like, mate. You, you know, against West Brom. You know, if we're at two o'clock, when I, I we're not three o'clock kickoff, are we? I can't remember what time we are, but the an hour before well, kickoff. When you play West the, Brom, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, mate, because it's in my calendar. Because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm set up for them all. You play Saturday at twelve, twelve thirty. It'll be, won't it? At eleven thirty, mate. If I see that, if I see Dakar in the starting lineup, I don't even want to watch the game. I honestly don't, mate. It's that bad. It's that bad, mate. Who are you going to play ahead of him, though? Like this is the mad. Tom game, Cannon. Mate. You've got Tom Cannon, you've got Jamie Vardy, you've got Kalechi Iheanacho and Pat Sandaka. What's happened to Iheanacho? In on paper, mate, it's the best, you know, attacking depth in the league, right? Obviously, yeah, so. it is. Yeah, for sure. And 
and none of them can hit a barn door, mate. I mean, well, no, that's wrong. Cannon can, but he, he just hasn't been played. Um, look, Daka didn't get a sniff at the start of the season. It was Ian Acho Vardy. That was it. And then towards the end of the year, November, December, um, Daka came into the team. He scored some goals. He looked good. And then when he went off to African Cup of Nations and then Ian Acho went off to African Cup of Nations, it was Vardy and Cannon sharing, sharing the minutes. And Cannon scored some goals. He scored some goals. Mm. I think he scored a hat-trick in the FA Cup um, as well. Two, two goals, maybe three. I can't remember. Two or three in the FA Cup against Millwall. And... Uh, and since then, mate, we ain't seen him. And to be honest, mate, you look at how you look at how the game was going today. Yep. You'd much rather someone who's a little bit more physical in the box. I said this at yeah. half time, but someone who's got a bit more physicality about them. Um, and you know, we bring Vardy on, and I just, you know, Vardy ain't gonna do much unless it's a tap in or it's him running through, you know. Um, you're not gonna you're not gonna get much from Vardy there. So yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, we're just not we're just not it. And Enzo ain't it? And um, Richard you look saying, at today, mate. Oh. Hopefully, the mic's a little bit louder now, folks. I've fought, I've fought out. Richard says, "Stop this, Cannon. He's god shit." Yeah, but how? What, what? What are you basing it off? Like, what are you actually basing? What are you basing Cannon being shit off? Because he played a handful of games and scored. Right, he played a handful of games and scored goals, and now he's shit. Like, how? How? How do you work that one out? I'll tell you now. He's better than Daka, and you know. Vardy, he he was scoring goals. I'm not ruling Vardy out. I'm not saying Cannon over Vardy. I'm just saying tonight I would have done that. And you know, against Millwall, mate, at least Enzo made brought on two strikers. You know, we we played with two up top tonight, mate. Nothing. There was nothing. It was just the same from the from as soon as as soon as uh, Plymouth scored their goal, it was the same minute after minute after minute after minute after minute. And that's it, mate. Dewsbury Hall diving. Daka diving. Can Getting I talk desperate. to you about that Jewsbury Hall dive, by the way, when he's in the box, man, and he sees the lad on the deck, and of course you've got to take your opportune moments and whatnot, but at first time I thought it was a pen, and then when you look and you just think, stay on your feet, man, you might get some out of it, but instead he threw himself to the ground, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, I think... Are you on about the last one? Yeah, the last one. Yeah, I'm on I think about the last one. the last one was, was the... There was more contact on that one than the others, but obviously, okay. but I'm still saying it was soft. It was still yeah, soft, yeah, yeah. and um, yeah. uh, earlier on in the game, he, he dived as well. And uh, again, he's t I think he's taken over. Taken check over this Madison, out, mate. Plymouth's first clean sheet of the season. There you go, mate. First clean go. sheet of the season. It's wild. Wild. Chris McTaggart says, "Ipswich Town fan here. Big up, Chris. Thank you for watching." He said, "If Ipswich win tomorrow." And Leeds win. That's less effect. Come on, you Blues. See, I'm not sure I agree, Chris. Locks right now is hurting and we'll say, yes, it's true. But Leicester still do have a game in hand. I mean, even if Leeds win, it's only two points above us. If it, if you win, you have a three-point gap, you might be all right. But for us, it's still two points, man. It's still two points. But what do you reckon to that statement? Right now, you're going to say, yeah, it's done, isn't it? It's done. Because the, the game in hand is against, Sheffield, uh, is against Southampton. You know, they get that as the game in hand. And Southampton aren't going to roll over just because they're not getting top two. If anything, they're going to want to... I mean, look at them against Ipswich. They put in a, they put in a good shift against Ipswich, mate. You yeah, know, yeah, I know yeah. they lost, but they, they were the better team against Ipswich, 100%. Yeah. And there was that, you know, the the, the same old Ipswich, Ipswichery, I'll call it, yeah, yeah. Um, against Southampton. We, so, we do have to put on. some context on it, though, because Jared makes a good point. I know you didn't create hatfuls, right? Like, in terms of XG, let me just have a look quickly... Uh, 1.41, so towards the end, yeah, you definitely probably should have scored 70% um, of the ball, 17 shots, four on target. I think, like, Dak has missed a few sitters, Annie. But we do have to say, mate, you have you have dominated the game, really. You have dominated the game. But, you know, dominating the game and not and not doing anything with it, don't... I mean, look at their goal. Even their goal doesn't have any attacking momentum. <laughs> look, listen, mate. If this is what people. This is what some of the Enzo defenders are saying, right? They're saying it's not Enzo who's in the box missing the chances. Well, no, but who is Daka and who keeps mm. playing Daka? Enzo. So, yes, Enzo's not the one missing the chances, but Enzo's the one who keeps playing the man who's missing the chances game after game. Even if Daka scores a hat trick, he'll miss a sitter. He will because that's what yeah. he does. Um, I, it's just yeah. 
Cannon, how you just can't give him a chance at least is is just beyond me. I mean, he had an appearance the other day. Uh, sorry, he had an appearance a few weeks ago, but he, he was playing on the left wing. Mm. Like, it was just, you know, he came on for Mavadidi, and it's just like, let him just start a game. Because what, what, could, what could go worse? What What is worse than what, what we're, where we are right now? Honestly, mm. it's not. We've just lost back to back Millwall Plymouth. If you can't, if that's not where you make changes, that what is when bad, is? Bro. Do you remember them free games? And we said, who was the first one? Who was the first one? Birmingham. Here? Birmingham. We said Birmingham, Millwall Plymouth. You win all three. And I genuinely yeah. believe this. I say you win all three. Then you've got some tough games. You've got three points out of three games, and you've played Birmingham, Millwall, and Plymouth. That's not good, bro. And your next three now is West Brom, Southampton, and Preston. They're, they're tough games. West Brom in the top six. Preston, late shout for the top six, still still going. Obviously, Southampton as well. We'll still think, having a look at the way us and Ipswich and you were dropping points, that top two could be on. So, what what's the future holding, bro? If Listen, I can't lie to you. I know you're my friend and everything, and I am reveling in it, and this is football, and we have our moments. You've reveled in my misery. It is what it is. Those fans that are saying you need to be humble and all... Football's about moments. I don't believe in all that shit. I'm having my fun right now. But if you genuinely don't get top two, considering you were 17 points, bro, it is one hell of a capitulation. Hence the name earlier, and Capitulation City. It is so bad, mate, if this goes wrong for you. You, st- you still might be all right. You've got a game in hand, but if it does go bad, it's it's brutal. Um, League One. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> no, because you are like, you'll go to the... Like other end, but you can't look and let me just no, but put listen. This context on it. Go on, tell people why. Tell people. Why. I don't think you understand. No, go on. I know you do, but uh, look, Leicester are getting a points deduction next season, whether we're in the Premier League or the Championship. It's ha- well, if we don't get promoted to the the, the Premier League, we're going to get one in the Championship anyway, because we probably will breach FFP this season at, if we don't go up and. We're under a transfer embargo. We can't sign anyone on. Not like we'll be able to afford to sign NDD and Vardy on anyway with their wages. We're gonna have to. It's gonna have to be another sale. You know, you'll see some of the players we brought in this summer will go again next summer. Th- this summer coming up. Um, you know, Harry Winks will have to go. He will have to go because he's on ninety grand a week. Grand that's a week. that. That's our fault. That's our fault for putting him in, putting him on that. You know, you'd imagine, mate. You know, I know some people don't rate him. You would imagine a very lower down Premier League team might come in for the likes of Mavadidi. They might come in for the likes of Mads Hermanson. Vestergaard is out of contract. Fast will probably go. He's not spending a second year in the Championship. No, of course. Although he, that, that, yeah. that, that wanker can go off anywhere, right? He's a knobhead. So, James Justin, again, he was one in the summer. I'm going to stick with Leicester, you know, blah, blah, blah. He'll, he'll go. So, everyone will go. Dewsbury Hall, obviously, will go. You know, that's, that's a given anyway. So, all of these players will leave. You know, we don't know what the future is in terms of this transfer embargo either, by the way. Um, mm. We've got a training ground that costs about three or four million quid a year to run, to just, just yeah. to have the lights on, mate. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it is it is dire where we are right now. Mm. You know, if we don't go up, we are in trouble. Yeah. And I, genuine, I genuinely believe we will be in League One within <laughs> the next three years if we don't go en- up. Enzo's not going to stay, is he? He's not going to stay. Oh, he'll be sacked, obviously. Yeah, he'll be sacked. Yeah. Do you think he has to be sacked? What? What's, what are you? Well, what world are you living in, Joe? No, oh, fair. You know more than me. Like you know more. Obviously, than me. he'll get think... sacked. Why? Because of the capitulation. Yeah. Come on, man. Like it's not great. This... I agree with you. It's not great. Thanks, Paul. Mate, the, 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 the fans. Who, the fans are gone. By the way, the the, the fans. I've the seen. Fa- I've seen here. Like someone's just said here on Twitter, uh, Enzo has to go tonight. I'm so sorry to say, but <laughs> he's going to cost us promotion. <laughs> sorry. He's bottled at a 17-point lead. Our recent form has us bottom half of the league, appealing one dime sorry, appalling one-dimensional tactics. He's got to go ASAP. I look, I, I mean I they're not gonna six. sack him now, are they? I, I can see your tweet as well, because you're also in this tweet that's been <laughs> head loss. <laughs> oh right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I spent six months defending Enzo in this style of football, mate. Um, and what did I tell? You? Did I remind? This is why I'm going. Yeah. Did I tell you all this? <laughs> yeah, but bro, come we on. will be there. We will be no. there, and I am there. 
<laughs> You're lucky. You've got lucky with that one, lucky. mate. You have got lucky. <laughs> You've got lucky with that one. What happened with the fans at the end? Did they leave early or boo Enzo? Hopefully, hopefully booed him, mate. Um, look, um, could could Enzo be sacked? No, he can't be, can he? No, they won't no, sack no, him. No, no. They won't sack him. Um, because everything we see of the players, all the interviews, all the bits of media we see from the players, apparently the players really like him and the players actually think he's... I mean, and, and uh, Harry Winks came out and said that he's the best manager he's played under, and he's played under Poch and Jose Mourinho and or you know Southgate and whatever. Your 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 best mate Southgate. So um, <laughs> it's look, obviously that you can't sack a manager with four with four four games to go. It won't happen. But I think sacking him would be the only way we go up. If I'm honest, really, get Jesse Marsh in. <laughs> Joking, but um, get. <laughs> I think sacking him would be the only way to go. I, I don't think we stand a chance now, mate. I think it's done. I honestly think it's just done. Um, and then you just have to pray and hope that you get lucky in the playoffs, I think, mate. That's it. But I don't think we'll go up in the playoffs. I think we'll get battered. Imagine, imagine the playoffs, bro, after being 17 points clear. I, I just... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, I'd, I, I, think, I think we'll get beat in the playoffs, yeah. Semi-final beaten, mate. So... Um, yeah, I don't know, mate. Yeah, Enzo is killed us. I think. I, I on. I, there's not many other managers, bro, at this level who I think wouldn't have us top two. The team we've got. This is what Leeds fans say a lot as well. Like, and oh, he's he should be winning the league with his team and all that. But I think, look, all I'll say from a Leeds United perspective is there has to be comp context applied in, in the case of how good the other teams have been. In your case, though, I do... I do. You were 17 points clear. This is the worst thing. that You were 17 points clear. And if tomorrow, by 5 o'clock, Ipswich and Leeds have both won, you'll be third, man, with four left. That's what I'm saying, third. yeah. But it, that's wow. on the manager, isn't it? Surely. It's got to be on the yeah, manager. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. And and someone said it's a silly statement saying he won't get sacked, Joe. Maybe maybe he will. I, I, I don't know. He won't. He, he can't get... Oh, you I mean just, in the summer? Yeah, in the, the end summer. of the yeah, season. Yeah. I just think if Leeds don't go up, I wouldn't want Farkas sacked. I just wouldn't want Farkas sacked if Leeds were, were to go up. No, but if you were 17 points clear and you yeah, ended up in different. the playoffs, would yeah, you want him different. sacked? It's different. Yeah, I hear it. It is different. You're right. Um, yeah. You know... Uh, yeah, mate. It's um. Do you can you imagine do, though when Leicester was seventeen points clear? If any Ipswich fans put money on Ipswich to win the league, then I bet they would add oh, some money, mate. Mental, mental. I think Norman's they will win it now. Will have done something like that, by the way. Square ball. He'll have done something wild like that. I tell you. I, um, I think Ipswich will win the league now, mate. Over Leeds, I think Leeds will come second. But you don't care, obviously, which is no, fine. I'm not you know, I am no. not asked one bit. Honestly, I'm not asked um, about winning the league. It's yeah. It is what it is. It'd be nice to win it, but I'm not asked if we if we don't. Um, do you, <coughs> right. So Leeds United play at twelve thirty. We've got Blackburn at home. Uh, Ipswich have got have got Middlesbrough at home. I do you have any confidence looking at them to look at our form though as well? Right, look at our form. We've been beaten by Coventry, drew with um, Sunderland. It's I mean for me it is cut and dry. I'm really confident ahead of tomorrow. But for you, do you have any hope like that that we we drop points. The Ipswich drop points, or do you think this weekend it's wins? I've said this every week for the last few weeks. To be fair, mate, but I do think yeah. um, I do think you'll both win. Yeah, I think. I mean, I said the other day, like this is our last chance. I Ipswich and Leeds dropping points midweek when Leicester lost. That was kind of our last chance at like you know our, our last let off, if you like. Um, and I think now Leeds and Ipswich will be. Like imagine them, imagine them players. By the way, tonight looking at watching that game because they all would have watched it. They say they won't, oh, but they will. Yeah, of course. imagine imagine them all watching that. And like and... Farker was saying, he was going to be watching Augusta the golf and that. I know for a fact they've sat and watched that, and they're all in the hotel, seeing the result, and they've all just gone get in. And they're yep. probably all buzzing that Adam Forshaw got involved as well with the assist. So come on, definitely. Yeah. Yep. Um, so. Yeah, it's. I think Leeds will win. I think Ipswich will win. I think you're both taking encouragement and uh, from from the defeat, and um, and that's why I think it's over. If I still had a bit of some in me saying, "Oh, Leeds and Ipswich probably will lose another game or two, then I, mm. I will obviously be kind of have a bit more optimism. But now, I've never been so negative in my in my mindset right now in regards to the football, mate. It's it's that bad. I think. 
I think we've bottled it, we've thrown it, we've had opportunities to come back into it by winning two games on the bounce and Ipswich and Leeds dropping points. And we still, we've still still not taken advantage of that. And I think Leeds and Ipswich now will just power through. Me. You, might, you might drop points between now and the end of the season, but I don't see you losing a game. We don't see us losing a game from here on in. We shall see. We shall see. Um, moving forward, Lux, obviously, what, again, I know, I feel like we're just repeating, we've, we've already spoken about this, we've mentioned it on a number of occasions, but what needs to change? Is it a case of just stop playing Dak? It's not as easy as that, surely. I know he's missed some sitters tonight, and he's missed, listen, if we're being honest, he missed a sitter against us that would have put you two up and you're winning the game. He missed a sitter against Millwall with the head. Admittedly, he'd only been on five minutes. He's missed a couple of sitters tonight. Why is he persisting with him? Why isn't he playing Cannon? Why isn't he starting Vardy or Ian Nacho? I don't know. I don't know. He's stubborn, isn't it? And obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's probably the criticism that gets thrown at managers the most. Nearly every single football manager gets thrown uh-huh. gets thrown at them critic uh, gets thrown at them stubbornness. But and, and that's because they they believe that their way and they have their own philosophies and all of this and they have their own beliefs. And I suppose if a manager appears to flip flop in ideas, then. Um, that shows a bit of kind of uncertainty, and it, sh- it maybe the players doubt them for that. But he he is putting his faith in Pats and Dakar, and I don't know whether it's just that Pats and Dakar is like Ronaldini, uh, Ronaldo, the original Ronaldo in training, mm. or if it's the fact that maybe he's thinking, all right, Dakar needs one goal, and he's got his confidence back, so let's try and get him that. You know, I don't know, I don't know what it is, mate. Um, We've got eight days. We've got eight days or seven days, mate. Now, I mean, you know, the 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 breaks between games haven't really helped us in the past this season. But um, there's a chance, I suppose, that Enzo might be able to put some things right over the over the next few days. Um, I just, but I just don't have faith in him. I don't have faith that he's able to turn it around. I think we're in free fall. It looked the rot seemed to stop with those back to back wins against um, Birmingham and and. Uh, Two home games, uh, though, coming up, mate. What do you yeah. think the crowd's going to be like for West Brom next Saturday in Southampton? How's it's going it to be toxic, look? man. It's going to be toxic. I honestly think it's going to be toxic. Maybe not from the start. Maybe, you know, no. at, the, at the start of the game, there'll be you go in, come on, we can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But if we go 1-0 down, like I pro- like I do expect us to, then it's going to it's going to be tough, mate. Like, it really yeah. is. And and you know what the you know what the fans like. Uh, sorry, you know what players get like as well. It doesn't help players. I'm not saying... No, you no, know, tox- doesn't. Toxicity doesn't help players and that's the mm-hmm. criticism that gets thrown at fans sometimes oh what do you think booing and and jeering is going to do but what do you expect people to do do you expect fans to sit there when things are really really bad and just keep mm-hmm. clapping and keep cheering like it doesn't you know yeah maybe some fan base is like that but it's, it's tough when you're 17 points clear what are you mm-hmm. meant to do you know what i mean what are you meant to do when you bottle that lead um you can't expect fans to just be like oh well you know we're still third you can't expect fans to be like that so mm-hmm. No, that is true. Let me get some super chat, Sim. I think you, you, you've you gone through enough pain, bro. Um, <laughs> but Baseline Bible said, mate, it's got to be the biggest bottle job in championship history. If this was Leeds, we'd be calling for the boss's head. Many are, many are, mate. Many are in the Leicester fan base, I can't lie to you, but it's too late. And Pete makes a good point. I don't. Can you sack him because the embargo covers manager as well? You probably wouldn't be able to bring anyone in, would you? Even if, I know they're not going to. I know they're not going to. I don't know how it works, I don't know how it works. Um, you know, there's it's, it's it's vague the information available online and stuff about it. Because um, mm. there was something like you can offer contracts, but they just can't play. After it's weird, but um, yeah, I mean, there's no point in sacking a manager to just have his assistant, is there? Let's be honest. No. And you know, for, again, I think we can. I think we don't even need to talk about sacking because he's not getting sacked before no, games. No, you're right. Um, yeah, right. I think I, th- I think the manager is actually an exception because weren't Chelsea under a transfer embargo when Lampard came in, for for example? Yes, potentially. Um, yeah, they probably. So I, I I think there's there's probably a rule where managers are allowed because what's a club meant to do if a manager resigns? How you, you know you have to get a manager in, don't you? So mm. yeah. yeah, you do. Yeah, no, no, it's fair. It's fair. You you probably do. And uh, Laura, I'm not too sure. I'd love to see what's he like post match. Is it very much we were better <laughs> and all this sort of stuff? Is that the kind of tribe you get? The usual manager spiel, mate, you know. Um, yeah. We had the chances, but we didn't put them away. Yeah, whose fault's that? It's yours for playing Dakar. Um, <laughs> we're tired. Well, you could have made more changes, you know, to the lineup. That might have helped that. All the usual stuff, excuse after excuse after excuse. Against Millwall, mate, 
it's the first time where in a, in one of his interviews he actually looks fuming. Oh, he yeah. did look fuming. So then that's when I thought, all right, he might make a couple of changes here. He might make a few changes. He might have given him a kick up the arse, but it, you know, it didn't seem seem that way. So, um, Fraudiola. Just just out of interest, John Percy of the Telegraph mentions about you not getting your points deduction, but five defeats in eight and a seventeen point lead thrown away. Huge few weeks ahead. He says, surely time to get Connor Cordy in. Is <laughs> that? I mean, what? Yeah, you, yeah. You would, yeah. Well, the is last two games. Is- the last two games he's played, he, yeah, he's a good at card tricks. Yeah. No, well, is he though? Like, I don't know because he, he's good at card tricks. He's great at telling jokes. I've just not seen him on Mate, the football pitch. I just wonder. It actually baffles me if you genuinely believe Connor Cody isn't a good centre half at this level. Well, your manager. Well, how many games? No, but has he you've played said this it. Season? You've yeah, I don't said think it. he is. I think he's shit. At this level, he's playing in a back three. Yeah. At this level. So you. Look I at said right. Centre and you half told today, me. And you, you told me you went. Yeah, but he's been going to games and he's really. So I used to say, well, what? What is he good at card tricks? Is he tell jokes? Mate, I mean, because he don't play. Mate, Connor Cody gets into the back line of at least fifteen of the teams in this league. Okay. He just does. So he why does. doesn't he play then? Explain. Why doesn't because, he play? Again, because he's stubborn. He, obviously, you've got... Basically, the, the situation is that we play Doyle or or, um, or James Justin on the left, centre-back. Um, you've got Vestergaard in the middle and you've got Fass on the right-hand side. And Fass has to be... You know, whoever's in that role has to be a little bit more mobile and whatever. So, really, you know, in Enzo's eyes, the only player who can come out for, for Cody to go in is Vestergaard. Yeah. And obviously, Vestergaard is the better of the two, Fast and and and, and Vestergaard. So he doesn't he doesn't get dropped. Fast, you know, Vestergaard never gets dropped. Um, I think the only games he's missed this season is when he's been suspended, where Cody's come in and he's been good. Um, in the cup games where Cody's played, we've he, he's looked good. So I don't understand why. You know, yeah, it's all good earlier in the season talking about well all Cody has going from his leadership and card tricks and all this but this is actually the time of the season where you do need it on the pitch mm. you know a bit of leadership so I don't get why he's not there I don't get why you know we've been a few quite a lot of less fans have been calling for Cody to come into the back line for about six weeks probably since the the bad form started so I don't know why but he has to come in in my eyes but he won't the team will be exactly the same as this next weekend mm. it'll be exactly the same Sonny I hope you're joking mate I hope you're joking, pal. You're a Leeds fan as well. You better not be telling truth there. Connor Cordy can play in the back three. He's shit with the ball at his feet, hence why he can't play in this Leicester He's side. not shit with the ball at the feet. He's not as bad as you think. He's not okay. as bad as you think. Well, Enzo clearly thinks so. I'm back no, on Enzo. It, that's not why. That's not why Cody isn't playing. The reason Cody isn't Enzo playing is in. because he's not as mobile as fast. You know, he's not he's not as mobile as fast. And and then you've got Vestergaard, the only you know, the central centre back. Is Vestergaard, who is the better, you know, the best centre back at the club, probably. So, which is crazy to say, you know, compared to what we were saying this time last year. But so that's why, mate. That's why. Yeah, piss off. Big up to Mark. <laughs> he said, oh, he's fuming locks. He's telling him to piss off. Cody is bad man. He's just like Harry Wanks, he's not, man. Mate. That's why they're in the championship. Again, I both told... of them get. Box, I told you, Darko JB and Adam Forshaw will have better season than Harry Winks, okay? That hasn't proved to be the case. But today, when it mattered, yeah, Harry Wanks was away. Guess who got the assist for tonight's goal? Who was, who was it? Forshaw. <laughs> it was Adam yeah, Forshaw! Winks has got more assists than Forshaw this season. Mate. I'm joking about it. I don't care. Yeah. Connor Cody isn't a bad player, and he's not a bad player on the ball either. And he get, like I said, he gets into at least 15 teams in this league, and so does yeah, Winks. Just, Winks probably yeah, but, gets yeah, in Yeah, of course. 20. He probably gets... He pr- probably right. Connor Cody gets in Rotherham, Huddersfield, Chef Wednesday. Of course he gets in then teams. Does he get in at Leeds? Does he get in at, 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 at Ipswich? Does he get yes. in at South... Well, gets maybe he gets Ipswich. in at Ipswich. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. But... And Winks gets in at everyone. Yeah. Bar yeah, Leeds. Bar yeah. He don't, get in, he don't get in Plymouth's midfield, though, with Adam Forshaw in there. Oh, God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dotsy says, man, I feel bad for you, Lox. This is how I felt last year with free Kim Marsh and the other free noobs we had. Um, Yeah, well, it is what it is. I don't... Listen, I'm just laughing. Honestly... The egg will be on my face tomorrow. It's fine. It's fine. But well, it won't. But it may. I don't think be, you need but... to worry anymore. I know you will, but I don't think you need to worry anymore. I've... It's um, yeah. I don't yeah. know, man. Jesse yeah. Marsh in the chat. Fancy four games in the championship, mate. 
<laughs> Darren says, Leicester will still go up. Best team we've played this season. Stop, breathe, take a moment. Remember how great they've been. Um, it doesn't matter how great you've been. What, what does it matter? Right now. Yeah, yeah, what does it true. matter? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. does it matter? You know, you've lost a game and I'm sure Millwall would say we were a very good team against against them. It doesn't matter. You're not scoring goals. It just, yeah. it honestly doesn't matter at all. I think we will win the last two games. I said it on your show the other day when we predicted the fixtures. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I you think did, we'll yeah. beat, I think we'll beat Preston. I think we'll beat Blackburn last day, but I don't mm. think it'll be enough. I think you and Ipswich will probably finish. We've got to win. We've two got to win points. tomorrow, bro. And I do think it'll be as close as that. Two points probably. Above um, above Leicester, something like that, two, three, four points, something like yeah. that, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now, nah, listen, um, we've had a little bit of fun tonight. Listen, there's been over 2,000 people watching this, by the way, which is absolutely insane. Make sure you go show Lock some love on Twitter. He's getting a lot of retweets right now from Leeds fans because, obviously, he's asking for Enzo's head, so people are enjoying it, naturally. Um, oh, so... God, I haven't looked for a while. <laughs> You've had 108 likes and 11 retweets, bro. Um, oh, that's not so, so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just, is it the tweet about... Enzo out. The... Enzo is the manager. When we lose, it's on him. Yeah, yeah. man. That tweet yeah. is, oh, yeah, you know, it's... Fair. it's fair. This is what people say. It's react... You know, the Enzo in lot are still saying... I mean, you see the top reply. We are still top of the league. Is that on Enzo too? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah Enzo exactly. had us yeah, top I've of the league, that. but Enzo bottled 17 points. What do you, you know? Yeah. And, and this is the thing that pisses me off the most, mate. Last season, last season, um, a lot of the Leicester fans said, including myself, it's not on the players... It's on Brendan Rodgers, right? It's on Brendan Rodgers. But this season, so many people are saying it's on the players. It's not Enzo. It's not Enzo. You know, make it make sense. Make yeah. it make sense. How one yeah. season is it all on the manager and the next season it's all on the players and not the manager? It's the manager's job to get the team playing well. If he's not doing it, he's not doing his job. And if he can't make changes in a game, he's never... I don't think he's made a single change. This, maybe last weekend. It, he barely makes any changes yeah. To that actually affect the game in a positive way, and if he does, it's like in the 90th minute and it's too late. 100. At least you've got a Leeds fan back in your corner because he's coming on and just throwing shade at me for no reason whatsoever. But he just says, "Just your call for Dan James Head, but wanks over Liam Cooper." Um, yeah, I did call for Dan James Head because he was shit and uh, was at Fulham. <laughs> um, he proved me wrong. I don't know. I don't know why you're coming in to try throw shade at me. You're not enjoying the downfall of an opposing team. Like, what was the question? It. What was I the know. question? Where, where's the the, well, where's the question exactly? I don't know. But there's a, there's a reason I uh, masturbate over Cooper though, and it's because he's an absolute goat and a legend. So there you go, Broski. Um, but take that to the bank and um, yeah, have that. Anyway, um, any more stuff you want to say at all? I'm staying well clear of your channel this weekend. <laughs> no, you don't. Because if you... Listen, I genuinely, right? I genuinely, after the game... I gen, After the game, if we get beat, if we get beat, come on and you can give it to me. I won't. I won't know because Why I don't though? believe it. Bro, I only come for you when I believe it. And I don't believe yeah. that you getting beat tomorrow or get or drawing tomorrow changes anything like if, if i believe we were back and we were coming for you and we were going to finish above you i'll give you all the shit in the world mate but i don't believe it so that's why i'm not coming for you and i won't come for you we, obviously fourth of may if we end up above you then obviously i'll come for you but it won't happen it won't it's done oh. for us with playoffs done capiche finished finito done. finito there you've heard it from the horse's mouth that way you've heard it from the horse's mouth uh leicester are staying in the championship Leeds are winning tomorrow and we're gonna win the league Listen, folks, it has been an absolute blast. We have had uh, over 2,000 people watching this, legends. Um, 545 likes, if you haven't already. Please do uh, smash a like on the video. Um, subscribe to the channel as well, folks. We're on the way to 30k. Big up to Locks for coming on and facing the music. He's an absolute legend. Um, I'm going to go chill out now and rest and recuperate and get ready for Leeds versus Blackburn tomorrow. We will be live on the channel from 11.30. Straight after that, we'll have Ipswich versus Borough, T -T -T Siders, and then we'll have your live post-match reaction after that. Um, hopefully, it'll be a fantastic April the 13th. Hopefully, it'll be a, a fantastic April the 13th. Join me nice and early. Make sure you check out Locks, and we'll see you in a bit. Peace out, folks. Legends. <laughs>